Hi everybody. Recently on the Facebook group, there's been a lot of discussion about a mouse for the atom. There was a mouse that was, I believe it was a converted Commodore mouse that was made back in the day. But never really got much use. It was mostly a joystick mouse. John Lundy, who is an extremely talented hardware designer, decided to make an adapter that would let you plug in a plain old USB mouse into the Atom and it would then act like a joystick. After he built his prototype and he showed everybody what it was and everything, he had a little raffle. Everybody who liked the post was entered into the raffle and randomly selected one person, they would win and they would get the prototype. I won. I got the prototype. So I'm going to open it up today and I'm going to tinker with it on the Atom. I got some ideas. I want to see how it works. So let's open this thing up and see what this thing is. It's a box. It's a USB power cable. This appears to be some form of power supply. It's taped. Okay, it's a power supply, 9 volts. And that's a cable. Okay, that's a splitter. That, you know, let's open that up here. Yeah, this is a serial, or not serial, a splitter for the Atom. Well, it's not a splitter as much as you can plug this in and plug a joystick into that and then plug one of these into the mouse, I guess. And I'm assuming this is the hardware that does all the goodies. What we got here? Oh, we got chips and stuffs. Pretty, very pretty. He's making these now and he's got them all in a nice little professional box and stuff. But I got their guts. I got the one with it all hooked together. Look at that. How does it work? Okay, okay. I'm assuming this is a power supply, all right. What does this one do? Uh, I'm going to have to look at the instructions. I know this is an adjustment because he said there was a sensitivity adjustment. And. Yeah, what is that one? Oh, is this, is this for programming? This might be for programming the the gal or the pal or whatever it is, the thingy. And then the mouse plugs in here. This is cool. We'll have to figure out what this thing does. I'm going to have to put it through its paces. I'm going to have to find out how to use this. I'm assuming I should be able to just plug this in and go. I'm going to make that assumption. It will probably be wrong, but I'm going to make that assumption. Let's see what we can do with it. Alright, so I want to show you. I've got it hooked up here. We have that splitter cable coming out, which I've got plugged into a controller also. Then it plugged into the USB mouse adapter. Then the USB mouse is plugged into it. Then the power supply is plugged in also. There's no lights on it. I'm not sure exactly. You know, every time I post videos, people say, RTFM, read the blanking manual. I don't read manuals. So maybe those lights do something. Maybe they don't. I don't know. But anyways, I've got it all plugged in now. And now we're going to give it a shot and see what it does. All right, so now let's give this thing a try and see what it does. I'm going to load up, I, I've been trying to figure out what program I wanted to use, I went and searched for Paint Master and all the other different ones, and I just decided, you know what, I'm going to play with Chalkboard. Chalkboard probably doesn't get any love because it's very slow, it's written in Smart Logo, but it, it, it's kind of cool, so I'm just going to load it up, I'm going to give it a shot, we're going to see how it works. I got the controller right here, and I've got the mouse down there. Where I can get to. I should actually I should put the mouse up here so you can see it. See what I'm doing with it. 
Yeah, it's loading a smart logo right now. I like that. It says loading, please wait. And then it says BS defined. <laughs> BS defined. GS defined. I mean, I know what it's doing. It's defining all the various parts of logo, but I, it, I just got a tickle out of that. I know the, the, the child in me got a kick out of the BS defined. So it's loading up smart logo. Or, I'm sorry, loading up chalkboard. And you can see joystick number one is chalk, joystick number two is turtle. I don't have number two hooked up. Let's see, I'm just gonna use the joystick on here. You can see up and down. See how it is pretty slow. I wish they had some like speed options, but they don't. If I press a button, it draws. If I press another button, it erases. All right, so we got that. Now let's do it with the mouse. See, I don't think the mouse likes my desk too much. Come on, the up seems to be having issues, but this is a very cheap mouse too. So it might be that. I wonder how this thing would respond to a wireless mouse. Would it work? Only one way to find out, isn't there? Let's unplug it. Let's reach over here, off camera for a moment, sorry about that. I'm going over to my XP system, I'm going to unplug the little dongle. I'm going to unplug the little dongle. Unplug, he says. Get the wireless mouse. Let's give it a shot. Let's plug the wireless mouse dongle into this adapter here. Like such. And what do we got? Well, it, it's responding. But it's still having issues going up. Why is that? I don't know. All right, so it doesn't like the wireless mouse too much. There may be an option. Oops, oops, dropping things. There may be an option to setting the, do setting the speed on here. Again, I haven't read the manual. It said it does work. It is working. I mean, it's working just like a joystick would, really nicely. I gotta try something else here now. I'm gonna pause everything for a second, and I'm gonna try something else. All right. So what I've done is I have hooked up my bamboo tablet, and I'm going to see. I think I crashed the program. Well, let's restart it then. Maybe it didn't like me unplugging and plugging back in, but I want to see if the bamboo tablet will work. You know, first, I'm just going to load my stick test in that I use just for testing things. I just want to see, maybe I can just get a detection real quick if that's working. Because technically this is, I guess it is a mouse, per somewhat. Oh, it's picking up left already. It's just stuck on left. I don't know if that's because my tablet is broken, because I haven't used this thing in oh, so long. Or if this thing just doesn't like it. All right, so maybe it's just that. So let's unplug you. Restart. So I guess the tablet doesn't do it. That was a thought. So I'm going to plug the mouse back in. And now I'm pretty sure, like I said, somebody's going to yell at me that I should read the manual. But I'm pretty sure somebody can tell me if I'm doing anything wrong with it. But I want to show you real quick, I'm just going to go back into stick test here and I want to show you how this works with the stick test. So you can see that it actually is acting like a joystick. I should learn how to type. You go from one... Hey. You didn't erase it on me, did you? I had this happen before where you erased my file. No, okay. I just typed it wrong. It didn't like what I was doing. 
All right, so let's see. It thinks I'm going down. Now I'm going up. I'm going left. I'm going left. I'm going right. Again, I don't know if that is an issue with the mouse or if it's an issue with sensitivity on that. Like I said, I should read the manual. I want to read the manual. But this is awesome. More hardware for the Atom. I got this. I, I'm the prototype guy. John sent me this one because I want it. Ooh, that's not good. My metal USB wire was touching my ADE, which is all bare metal too. John sent me this to write software with, the ADE. People send me prototypes to fix or to figure things out. Alex sent me a 1350 mouse to make an adapter for it. That's gonna be fun. I got the, some of the parts in. Let's see what we can do with that one. So yeah, I'm a prototype guy. Have a good day.